what digital abuse is, is it's any way somebody can use a cell phone or a computer to make another person's life miserable. So that encompasses things like cyberbullying, sexting, and digital dating abuse. Um, and as we've seen through our research, um, digital dating abuse can often be uh, a precursor to offline abuse. If you have somebody in your life that is um, being very demeaning towards you, meaning they call you names or, you know, give you um, a feeling of, you know, that you're inadequate, say for instance, are you going to wear your hair like that? Um, that dress really looks horrible on you. You know, what were you thinking when you picked out those shoes? Uh, just any kind of de demeaning behavior like that. So many of our girls say that they think it's romantic when a guy is constantly needs to know where she is, constantly blowing up her cell phone. That's a really dangerous sign of relationship abuse. And here is, I think, a telling one, is how many of you text more than you speak on the phone, 98% of the month. It shows how they, young people, are digital natives, and I'm a digital immigrant. And as a parent, that's a frightening thing because it, it adds to the problems that we see. A child can be next to a parent in a car and be tormented by somebody through texts and other things. One of the most important things is to be able to step away from your phone or step away from the computer. And it sounds so simple, and yet when it's emotional and when you feel like you're talking to your friends and they've got a grip on you, and if, it's, if, the, if that grip is negative, the most powerful thing you can do is just step away.